Hello, everybody. My name is Lilia, and I am a full-time options trader and part-time options instructor. Today, we're going to look at some earnings plays, which I placed yesterday, which was January 30th, 2014. The level of difficulty is intermediate. So if you're new to options, you may want to learn about options before trying this strategy. Yesterday, Google and Amazon were scheduled to report their earnings after the closing bell. Their expected moves were quite large. Amazon had an expected move of plus or minus $31 with the stock trading at 403. Google's expected move was plus or minus $64 with the stock trading around 1135 at the end of the day. So the strategy that I like to use on earnings days is this. Shortly before the closing bell, you buy an at-the-money straddle and sell some out-of-the-money wings to protect yourself. And the reason you sell the wings is because buying a plain straddle is going to cost you a lot of money. Let's take a look at Amazon and Google again. <clears throat> Notice that if you had simply bought a straddle for Google yesterday, it would have cost you over $62. $62. And that would have been $6,200 just for one contract. So that's a lot of money. And so the reason we like to buy or sell the wings is to lower the cost basis of the straddle. Here's a list of some very important things to keep in mind in order to be successful, successful with this strategy. <clears throat> you need to place these trades shortly before the closing bell on the day of the earnings so you can see exactly where the at-the-money strikes are located. Make sure that the expected move of the stock is much larger than the width of your strikes. Make sure that your initial debit is much lower than the width of the strikes. And finally, make sure you close the profitable side after earnings. As long as the stock moves outside your short strikes, you are guaranteed to make a profit. Thus, it's crucial that you use the strategy only on stocks that will move really big after earnings. So let's take a look at the two trades that I placed yesterday. First one is on Amazon. <clears throat> I purchased 10 at the money calls and puts. Here is the straddle part of the trade. These were at the money when I placed the trade. And I sold an out-of-the-money call option to protect myself, and I sold an out-of-the-money put option to protect myself. By selling these wings, I collected a nice premium, and that lowers the cost basis of buying the straddle. The initial debit was $4.80. I did 10 contracts. So it cost me $4,800.
my maximum potential profit is the width of the strikes in this case is five dollars minus the initial debit times 10 contracts equals two hundred dollars minus commissions so the way for you to make money on this trade is if the stock moves outside the wings either outside the 405 call or outside the 395 put and this is a really nice strategy to use right before earnings because most of these stocks do have a huge move after earnings and another reason I like this trade is because I don't really know which way the stocks going to move so by doing this strategy I'm basically betting on both sides but I like I said before if you are just buying a straddle you have to pay a lot of money up front but by doing it this way I'm capping my profit and limiting my initial debit when I'm trading options all I want to do is make some money instead of trying to score a home run making two hundred dollars in one day is pretty good in my books okay so I'm not trying to score a home run here I'm just trying to make a nice little profit so let's take a look at my Amazon trade as of today so remember the earnings were announced yesterday after the closing bell Amazon dropped and it dropped $38 it is currently trading at 364 it is about 1130 a.m. Pacific time so there's 90 minutes left today these options all expire today in about 90 minutes at the end of today one side of this trade will be worth zero the other side will be worth exactly five dollars and because Amazon dropped the side that is profitable today is the put side so notice these premiums on the call side the top two are the calls The calls, I'm going to let them expire. They're worth nothing. The put side, the bottom two, my put side, the 400, 395 put spread. My put side will be worth exactly $5 at the end of today. So my job now is to close only the put side and take my $5 profit. The second trade that I placed yesterday was on Google. Google is a high flyer and Google is going to move. yesterday right before earnings the expected move of Google was plus or minus sixty four dollars that's a huge move so here's my trade I purchased the at the money straddle and I sold some wings to protect myself the wings as I mentioned before lowers the cost basis of the straddle my initial debit was nine dollars and sixty cents or nine thousand six hundred dollars my maximum potential profit as long as Google moves outside of my wings that means above 1152.5 on the call side or 
below 1132.5 on the put side. As long as Google moves outside those two short strikes, I will be guaranteed a profit. The profit is the difference between the width of the strikes, which is $10 in this case, minus my initial debit of 960 times 10 contracts is $400 minus commissions. I am guaranteed to make this profit as long as Google moves more than $10 in either direction. That's all that has to happen. It has to move more than the width of the strikes in either direction, and I'm guaranteed to make a profit. So this is the reason I like these rates. Let's take a look at Google today. These were weekly options, and that is the key. The weekly options have the highest implied volatility and the highest premiums right before earnings. Google right now is around 1182. There are about 90 minutes remaining in the trading session. These expire today. Google is up $46. So it definitely moved more than $10. In this case, Google moved up, whereas Amazon moved down. So by using this strategy, I'm not really picking a direction. I'm picking the size of the move. I'm betting on both sides. So here's my Google trade. The put side, I'm going to let expire. It's worth nothing. The call side is profitable. The 1142, 1152 call side. So I need to sell this and collect my $5 or I'm sorry, it's $10. This is $10. Okay, so here are my profits so far. I still have 90 minutes remaining, so I'm probably going to wait until we're closer to the closing bell, and then I'll try to close these. So here's my Google profit. 425 and here is my Amazon profit 201 thank you for watching and good luck and if you have any questions you can email me and schedule a consultation or you can follow me on Twitter at Lilia Lamb.